This recipe comes from TikTok, y'all. Um, I will let y'all know the name of the creator who came up with this, but I cannot wait to try this. It looks so good. Frito corn salad, y'all. Yummers. And we are drinking orange mango flavored water. No, peach mango flavored water. I'm sorry. All right. Yummy, freaking delicious. Who want a yummy bite? What's up, Yummy Bites? Welcome back to another episode of Yummy Bites TV. Y'all already see it. Y'all, we doing something new. I have not tried this yet, y'all, but I hope it's good. I hope it's good. Um, we are drinking peach mango flavored water today. Uh -huh. Yes, y'all. Oh, my God, so good. Delicious. Okay, let's pray. Amen. Who is ready for this mother flipping mukbang? All right, y'all. Frito corn salad. Have y'all ever tried this? Let me know. Oh my God. <laughs> This is delicious. Y'all need to try this. It was easy to. Mmm. Mmm. And this is not keto. So we cheating today. Mmm. This is incredible. Mm. This would be healthy if it had a corn chip. Mmm. Like wowzers, like this is just mm. There's something that she didn't add in hers, though, that I added. And I think y'all should add it, too. Some chive and onion cream cheese. Oh, my God. Incredible with this. I'm so glad I did it. Mmm. Mmm. I'm in literal heaven. 
Mm. Yeah, one of my eyelashes are about to come out. Um, I don't know why, but. Mm hmm. It's going to come out. Because it, it's not attached. Mm <laughs> hmm. Get away from him. God, this is so good. Mm. Mm. Delicious. Mm. Incredible, y'all. If y'all want yours to taste like mine, you need to follow my recipe. Because I added a couple things that the original creator did not. And let me tell y'all who it was, girl, because she is the MVP. Her name is Kristen, girl. Kristen with a K. So go check her out because she was the originator of this salad. But I added, I saw somebody else add jalapenos. So I added those and I added cream cheese. I ain't seen nobody do that. When I tell you, <laughs> oh my God, I don't know what it tastes like before the cream, che the cream cheese, but adding the cream cheese is a freaking game changer. I just know it's a game changer. I know it. It's so good. Mmm. It's literally too good. Oh, and I added some um lime <laughs> some lime pepper. Cause she just said add a bunch of pepper in there. I was like, oh, I got some lime pepper. Why not? <clears throat> oh, and I added some lime juice too, y'all. So do that too. Just watch my video because girl, this is Mm. 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 Happy Saturday. Y'all are going to want to try this. We ain't got no meat in here. Mm. I'm going to eat as much as I can. I feel myself getting full, though. I really do. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. So, excuse the rant that I had to go on. <laughs> On my family blog channel, y'all. Um, sometimes, stuff needs to be addressed. You know, I ignore a lot. But sometimes, things need to be addressed. And I had to address it. And I'm sorry um, if it came out wrong or rude or whatever. I was pissed. Um, 
and you know it is what it is and you already know who I'm talking to if you know I'm not talking to you don't get upset but I feel like the people I'm talking to know who I'm talking to um, it's the I don't understand why people are so messy and bothered about the littlest things. It's ridiculous, honestly. Ridiculous. That's Marshall. His phone. You know what I forgot to add in here that I told myself I was going to add some red onions. God dog it. I bet you that would be so good in here. Mmm. Mmm. Red onion. Mmm. I can't believe I forgot. Mmm. Oh my god. How's everybody's weekend going? Are y'all having a good time? What did y'all have planned? Happy Mother Flippin' Saturday. It's Friday for your girl. It's beautiful outside. But baby, it's hot and humid. So humid. Mmm, guess what I did? Instead of putting heat in my leave out today, I did a flat twist last night and band two nighted at the end. And I feel like it looks good. You know what I'm saying? Didn't have to put no heat. Cause I realized, girl, you putting heat on your hair every day, you're gonna mess your hair up. You know? Although I have a little bit of heat damage um already. But I think I could reverse that by just putting a mask on it. But we're going to see. Oh, my God. Mm. And y'all need to go and check out um, my entire outfit that I showed y'all on the vlog channel. Go check it out on my TikTok. Okay? All the links will be in that video. To everything if you're interested and I'm pretty sure y'all are gonna be interested in something that I had on mm. Y'all, <laughs> I'm full. Now that you own, and you know, somebody wants your autograph, and you rude. Come on, I can see if the kid was freaking jumping all over him or something, or you know, but that's not what was going on, that's not what was happening. You know, all he wanted was a freaking autograph. He didn't ask for a hug or anything. Just an autograph. Why not? Like, you in that much of a hurry? It was just one little boy asking. Not no whole crowd of people. Oh, he was so rude, y'all. I couldn't believe it. Um, I'm going to let y'all see it. Get out the way. And I heard he got arrested in that same outfit. Do, do you see that? That little boy right there. Oh my God, you just don't do kids like that. I'm sorry, you don't do kids like that. I, mm -mm. no, <laughs> like, I don't never listen to his music, but he could never 
I could never be a fan of his, ever. Like, that was just, that was so, it turned me completely off. I couldn't even believe, like, the audacity. And he from Houston, girl. We don't do that. We don't do that in Houston. No, to the man, if you're from Houston, born and raised in Houston, we don't do that. We don't do that. We're very grateful, you know, for people that notice us or, um, you know, want to come get it, you know, a picture or an autograph or whatever. Like, come on. We don't do that. We don't claim you. <laughs> okay. Um. What else, y'all? Taylor Swift, y'all. Taylor Swift says she don't give a damn what nobody say about her decision. She had to tell her dad, and I think her dad is going to be voting for Trump. She had to tell her dad that she was not voting for uh, Trump. I have the clip right here, but they have some copyrighted music in it. But um, I was just like, wow. Taylor standing on business, y'all. Like, I never listened to her music, but I have a lot of respect for her now, honey. And I probably wouldn't mind freaking listening to her music. Like, I have a lot of respect for her now. Like, what? Like, you standing up to your family? And then to all of these, um, this, uh, these audience members that I'm pretty sure are for Trump. A lot of them. But she is standing on business, honey, and she does not care. Who knows? You know what I'm saying? Who she's voting for. And I just, I love that. I love that for her. You know? She don't care if she lose fans. She does not care. It doesn't matter to her. It's more important for her to, um, you know, you know, stick with her more morals and values. And, you know, like, and I just, I just respect it, girl. I respect it. Uh, okay, so the UK, y'all, uh, is having some type of a, I, I don't want to call it a race war, but they're rioting out there in the UK, y'all, um, and it's uh, racial, okay? Now, what happened was, is that there was, um, where, where was that information? It was three young girls that were unalive, okay, um, at a Taylor Swift, like, yoga, uh, something, y'all, hold on, let me find, let me find this clip County where 14. it is, um, Freedom explaining. Yes. She understands how much for your life. I want to take the Taylor Swift. People hmm. are, is this it? People are Oh, that's a good one too. I like. I couldn't wait to tell y'all about that. Um, that ain't what we. Okay. Black people in England are currently running away. Like, I really don't have Hold any on. cash, but whenever America's in a black Brits have a diaspora war, so we hear you don't know your history, you don't know where you're from. Guess what? Cause that was a big thing. Okay. Little do y'all know, okay? For the people who are not on TikTok, it was like this big thing between Americans and people um, from Britain and, and stuff. And basically, just they were telling us that um, we didn't know, we don't know where we're from, and you know that's a shame. And it, like, I guess they don't know our history. I, I'm not sure, um, but they were just talking about um, basically, you know, how it's not. Um, racist where they're from but they see everything that's going on in america and they just think that they're so much different right but now the tables are being turned okay and nobody's wishing nothing bad on them but it's a happening to them okay and let me let y'all hear why when you know where you're from the price of that is that those people don't believe you're from there and they want you to go back to where you're from if you don't know what's going what on right now, right now, the UK is rioting. On July 29th, three young girls were unalived at a Taylor Swift dance and yoga event and 10 other people were injured. And this attack was carried out by a 17-year-old boy. It was initially reported by the media and political figures that this 17-year-old was an asylum seeker. But it was found out later on that this 17-year-old was a black British-born citizen. Mm -hmm. However, the far right had already got a hold of it and they do not care. No. They want POCs out. They are rioting in the street. They want people of color out, okay, of their country. They want people of co out. 
just people of not just black all people of color they want out they riding in the streets marching whatever and when i was looking at the people that was marching they were brown people they were brown people and i just i'm like what is going on here like people are fighting against each other like y'all it is very, very much strange. I wonder what really like tipped the scale because I'm pretty sure people are unalived all the time out there, all the time. Um, like what caused this? Like, it, 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 like it couldn't be just those three young girls getting under unalived. Like it, this had to been brewing for a long time. That's how I feel about it. If anybody is from the UK. Let me know in the comments. Let us know what is going on out there. But anyway, yeah, they want um, all people of color gone. And um, like, <laughs> like people of color are not from, born and raised in the UK. Like there are a lot of people of color that were born and raised there. Like they didn't come from somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all. This is out of control. My heart goes out to each and every one of them because this does not end here. Whenever you guys go back to your normal, when everything settles back mm -hmm. down, the problem is you don't know who's who. You don't know who has what beliefs and where. You don't know. Just a few weeks ago, there was a joke of, oh, we lost this football match and now we... we okay, we don't have to listen to the whole thing, but I want y'all to see who this young man is because I saved the news clip. Oh, I think they took it down. Yep. Hold on. It looks like, hold on. Is this it? No, that's not it. Um, yeah, it looks like they took it down, y'all. Why did they do that? This is like, oh, and then People are saying, you don't see none of this on the news. Like, the, the news um, stations are not reporting this. They're saying that the news stations are not reporting it. But I have found a news clip. So, I don't know. Let me go to YouTube. UK. Oh, wow. UK protests, live updates, UK protests turn violent. <gasps> really? This is a live stream, y'all, that they are, are showing. Oh, my God. They got a lot of live. They are live streaming this. Man jailed for 20 months for stirring up racial. Y'all, this all got something to do with the UK riots. What is this? Let's see. Are you feeling stuck with ten thousand oh dollars in debt and all the interest on the first and try national debt Hold relief on. as a console? Is it these crown call for us this afternoon? Becky, this all relates to So I guess it is on the news now. Parlor on Facebook. Yeah, essentially, he was telling people on Facebook to go and attack a hotel in Leeds housing asylum seekers. He didn't actually take part in that action. We understand he was at home um, with an injured foot, but it was his messages online that were seen um, by his friends and other people they shared those posts with uh, that were at the root of his sentencing today. Just let me read you some of the stuff he posted. He said, every man and his dog should smash expletive out of Britannia Hotel. He off the tax was hardworking of his sentencing today just let me read you some of the stuff he posted he said every man and his dog should smash expletive out of britannia hotel he also said that asylum seekers are here given a life of riley off the tax us hard-working people earn when it could be put to better use come here with no work visa no trade to their name and sit and dos now the hotel he was telling people telling people to target had already been targeted by protesters so he was essentially fanning the flames of that violence and we know that people were throwing stones at the hotel they smashed one of the windows what? and it wasn't just the residents the asylum seekers in the hotel who were scared it was the staff uh, too and the judge said that he should have known that that was going to happen where were the police uh, did this now 
He's later said to police that it was um, a moment of foolishness, but he was still very forthright in saying that he had done this because of the anger he felt towards asylum seekers. Um, his mother submitted a note to the court saying we could only speculate that he has been caught up and swept away by emotions circulating around the country. Well, the reason that this sentence what? has happened so quickly is exactly excuse? because of those emotions um, that she was referring to in her statement to the judge. Um, the higher ups will want to discourage anyone from coming out to the streets this weekend and in the coming weeks and taking part in more violence. Let me tell y'all something. They got black people out there scared to walk the streets, scared to walk by themselves, scared to go home. Like what? They must don't fight out there because it ain't no freaking way. I'm gonna be scared of some people that are riot rioting. Um, you know what? I'm not gonna say that. I'm not gonna say that because I might just be scared. But I would definitely defend myself. Ain't nobody about to unless you gonna jump me. It ain't nobody about to make me so scared to where I don't want to come out of my house or you know I can't walk down the street I don't know maybe I can maybe I shouldn't say that because maybe I need to be in the situation first before I can say what I would do but I would I know that I would defend myself I know that we're gonna be some fighting folks up in there but anyway y'all pray for everybody out there in the UK um Oh, that this is over sooner than later, okay? Um, I, I know that they used to always talk about Americans and the racism out here and, you know, letting us know that how much they don't have racism out there and now it's happening to them. And we kept trying to tell them, like, what? <laughs> There's racism everywhere, all around the world. They didn't want to believe it. They did not want to believe it. But now they see. Now they see what the real deal is. Anyway, so have y'all been watching the um, Olympics? Oh, my God. Did y'all hear about the guy Lyles? Uh, I think that's his last name. Um, ran, I believe it was the, was it the 200? Because he got bronze, y'all. And he had COVID. Allegedly, y'all. Allegedly. But this is what was said. He had COVID. The trainers knew he had COVID. He knew. and But I don't think anybody, nobody else on the team knew he had COVID. And when people found out, they were like, you know, praising him. Like, dang, I can't believe you ran with COVID. Um, I would think that would be a little selfish, though. Because, like, you around all these people with COVID. And you probably spread it to some daggone body. You know what I'm saying? I, but I don't know. I know that the the Olympics only comes, what, every four years? So, you know, maybe he was like, I'm going to run this because I'm not going to wait another four years. But he got his bronze, y'all, with COVID. Can you imagine what would have happened if he didn't have COVID? He probably would have got gold. He probably would have. That's what I'm thinking. But for some reason, a lot of people don't like him. I don't know, and I ain't in that because I don't even know him like that. That was like... The Olympics was the first time I ever even heard of him. So, I don't know why people don't like him. If anybody in the comment section knows why people don't like him, let me know. Because it's, I don't know, it's weird. Very much strange. Um, but, yeah. <clears throat> let me go ahead and read y'all's comments, girl. Like, ooh. Okay. We're making a way, look at God. Okay. All right, let's read them, let's read them, let's read them. Um, Riri Love 62 says, hey, come on in and enjoy the video. Please hit the like button. You know what, let me, hold on, let me. <laughs> okay, Michael Stewart 1IA says, the food looks amazing. Love your hair, Yummy. thank you. Um, uh, oh my god, Jordan Hayward 2060 says Kamala is pronounced Kamala. Okay, 
Um, LaShawn 1901 says, yummy bites. Hey, girl. Um, Vlicious Dinners 5713 says, thank God it's Friday, dog. I know that's right. I know that's right. I know you happy. Erica Adams UD2QG says, hey, now, the food is delicious. It's happy Friday. Love, enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you so much. You too. Y'all, if this uh, lash falls up, just know it's because it's loose. Um, Lady Croft says, hey, yummy. Hey, girl. She said, I was like, where is the video at yesterday? Seeing your reaction is hilarious. The food looks delicious. <laughs> I love that lady's reaction when she was being interviewed about Tim Walls. And she said, boom. Exactly because I said boom too. It was because I use boom all the time, y'all. But she, uh, she also says, um, I love how his neighbors have nothing but good things to say about him. That shows a lot about his character. Uh, have a good weekend. Yummy. Thank you so much. You have a good weekend too. Yes, girl. It shows a lot about his character. And him wanting to take care of the person that was in the audience. You know what I'm saying? He stopped the whole thing just to make sure that person was good. Like, oh my God. I just, I cannot wait for this. I can't wait. Um, let's see. Uh, Shabrella Non, uh, 7273 says, what's up, beautiful yummy bites? The chicken and biscuits look so delicious. The whole chicken looks so good. Biscuits and jelly look so good together. Yeah, uh-huh. Yes, y'all. I know that's right, sis. Thank you so much, y'all. That food was so good. Um, Shabrella Non, 7273 says, what's up, beautiful yummy bites? This, the... Salmon, fish, and cucumber salad. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, looks so delicious together. Yes, I am making that tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. I'm not sure what I'm going to uh, eat with it. But yes, we are going to have that. It's gone viral on uh, TikTok, and I want to do it so bad. Um, e Troy 2045 says, That looks just as delicious as your daughter and murder show. Yes, girl. Y'all should have tasted that chicken. It was so good. <laughs> like, oh my God. She said, I know it's delicious. I saw you season the pieces um, out that hen. I know that's right. I surely did. I surely did. Um, Etroy 2045. And it, just to, because people are mad because I did chicken and biscuits also. Like, why would people be mad about that? I have no clue. I literally said on the video that I was gonna do that video also, but make it keto. Y'all don't remember that? Like, and y'all don't remember me already doing that video, Chicken and Biscuit? Like, I've done that before. I just wanted it again after they did theirs. It looked so good. So I was like, I'm gonna do it too. What What is wrong with that? Exactly. I. People be so petty and bothered over the stupidest things. They're trying to pit me and my daughter against each other. It is insane, y'all. I mean, in it's ridiculous. Telling me I'm jealous of her because I did the same video. When we she grew up eating chicken and biscuits that me and her dad cooked. She grew up eating that. Because me and her dad cooked it. I, I can't understand. And get ready, y'all, because I might do something else also, just like her. She might do something like me. Like, y'all, we're a family at the end of the day. And if she wants to do any video that I've ever done, you think I'm going to have a problem with it? It's ridic that is ridiculous. It's ridiculous, okay? Anyway, uh... And yeah, one more thing. When somebody says that I am jealous of my child, it, it just baffles my mind. Let me tell y'all why. Because I've never had those kinds of feelings for any of my kids. Like, I just, and I think mothers that are, it, it's ridiculous. Like, how could you even allow yourself to have those feelings for your child? I think that is, it's insane and it's weird. Um, and see, I didn't experience that with my mama, so I don't experience it. 
you know, I was never jealous of anything that my mama did. Like, it, I just never had those feelings towards my mom. Like, it's, it's just, I don't know. Don't y'all think that's weird, though? I think that's very much strange. Um, but anyway, Detroit 2045 says, oh, yes, Kamala gave that heckler the black mama look. Exactly. I was like, there's that look. Mm-hmm. Exactly. 0909 Troy's girl says, the heckler you're speaking of was a group of pro-Palestine protesters, and they weren't saying anything about Trump. Were they not? Well, then what was uh, Kamala talking about then? They consistently chanted pro-Palestine messages. Gotta love how the media twists things. Clown-ish. Really? So then why did Kamala um, respond and say, if you want Trump to win, well, then just say that. But whatever, girl. Shoot, I don't know. Because I didn't hear what, um, oh, excuse me, because I didn't hear what um, the heckler was saying. I just know it bothered Kamala, and she wasn't here for it. Uh, Joanna Aguilar4961 says, if Bailey can't eat meat, can she eat the bone? Um, I don't like her eating bones. I don't. Um, Marisha may give her some. I don't know. I don't know. But um, I don't like her to eat human food, period. I like her to eat her food, and that's it. Um, Love Child 6103 says, my hair is 4C. I'm not insecure about my hair. I love my hair. Sometimes I get mad, cut it, and let it grow out again. <laughs> yep. Um, it's so thick, and the whole front is white. And go oh, I know it is. I know it is. Oh, my God. I wish I had some 4 here, y'all. When I tell y'all I would be wearing an afro every single day with some ear some big earrings. Oh, girl, I would. Oh, I just wish my hair grew like that. Oh, my God. The only way I would be able to wear an afro is if I cut all of my hair off. Then it would it would do that. But the longer it grows, it grows this way, not that way. So unfortunate. Um, Love Child 6103 says, his opinion doesn't count yummy. Uh, boy, move out the way. <laughs> um, DK313 says, hey, yummy. Hey, sis. She says, that's some good eating right there. I'm definitely getting those biscuits. Girl, get them biscuits, girl. Get them. My hubby has to eat gluten-free. I know he would enjoy them. And who cares um, what that guy says about um, different hair textures? He sounds so silly. If any kind of hair um, on your... Wait. He sounds so silly. If you have any kind of hair on your head, you should love it. I know how. I know it. I know. And just thank God that you have freaking hair. Um, Queen B. Jones 8404 says, all right, Kamala, you better get them straight. <laughs> that was a try me look. I take no one serious who say there is no racism. I know. It's like ridiculous. Like, are you kidding me? Like, where do you live? Do you, are you like always in the house? Because And then even if you're always in the house, you should see it on TV and on, you know, on the internet, period. Like, it's, oh, I hate people that say that. Um. Moria Hardy 3764 says, I have 4C hair and I'm doing my hair while watching. I <laughs> know that's right. It's a lot of work, but I'm blessed to have thick, girl, thick hair. Girl, you better be glad because you are blessed to have thick hair, honey. Because it's some of us that do not have thick hair that wishes we had thick hair. I know it's a lot because when I first uh, went natural, my hair was super thick. I didn't even want to deal with it, y'all. Like, I may have some pictures of when I, um, like, at, uh, and Brian, when we was at the lake, that was when my hair, my hair was so thick, it was natural, and I just, sometimes I couldn't deal with it, y'all. It was so, so thick. I don't know how my hair got so thin. Maybe it's because I just got older. And my mom's hair is, is really fine also. Like, I get my hair right from my mama. Um, and she has really, really fine hair. Exactly like mine. Um, but yeah. 
We both wish that we had that care. Um, WABSD7X says, yummy. Yes, it was. It was delicious. Rose Miles 865 says, happy Friday, Christy. Enjoy your weekend. And that looks delicious. Thank you so much. Um... Nevermore316 says, please do not give dogs chicken bones or any type of bone that isn't a ham bone. Why are you telling me this? Were we talking about this on the on the video or something? Or like what is going on here? Are y'all talking about when Bailey wanted some food? She's always gonna want the food. She doesn't get it. Okay? She's always gonna want it, just like any other dog. She doesn't get it. She eats her dog food, okay? So, y'all ain't got to worry about that. Um, Riri Loves He's 2 says, Hey, come on in and enjoy the video. Please hit the like button and subscribe before you go. Leave a comment or suggestion down below because Yummy Bites would love to hear what you got to say. Thanks, and have a mother-flipping blessed day. Thank you, Riri. Thank you, girl. And I got your email, Riri. Thank you so much. Um... Let's see. Uh, dang. That comment just erased just like it did yesterday. Oh, here we go. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, but... Uh, Lily Porter 7100 says, happy blessed Friday, yummy. Thank you so much. Happy Friday to you too. Or no, happy Saturday, y'all. Anyway, so that is the last of the comments. Thank y'all so, so much for interacting with the video. I really appreciate it, y'all. Pray for this world. Pray for UK, y'all. Did they get through this? Because I guess they've never been through anything like this. We used to it. You know, we are used to, we used to the gang, gang, gang marching through the street and you know stuff like that you know they gonna be all right they gonna be all right um yeah y'all this frito corn salad y'all need to try this y'all it i mean it oh my god it was so good it was unbelievably good i did not know it was gonna be that good but it was and i'm so glad i tried it um, make sure y'all follow me on Instagram and TikTok, okay? I also um, was recording a TikTok for it um, simultaneously when I was recording the vlog. So, it's going to be on the vlog and on my TikTok. I just have to edit the TikTok video. Anyway, um, what else? Make sure y'all follow me on my family vlog channel. And, um, yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please do what? Oh, another thing. I'm going to start answering y'all's comments on the vlog channel on camera. Just like how I do here, I'm going to do the same thing over there. I started today already. Um, but I'm going to do that every day. All right? We need that that comment section needs to be cleaned up, and I am going to be the house cleaner. All right, we're gonna clean it up, and it's gonna be um, harmonious just like it is over here. All right, um, so I hope y'all appreciate that. But I'm gonna get that done. I should have been at it done, but um, you know, I'm doing it, I am doing it. Um, uh, yeah, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please do what? Thumbs up this video, subscribe if you haven't already. For everyday videos, everyday videos. Hey, uh-uh-uh, hey, 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 uh-uh. And I will see you guys on tomorrow. Peace. Y'all come back now. Yeah, bye y'all. Love y'all.